it's really unique. And, it, and why does it matter? I mean, it keeps you engaged. We're a global leader in personalized interactive fitness training. And we've got a content platform with a really wide array of different kind of workouts, like running or rowing or biking, strength, yoga, Pilates. And we serve that up on a, a wide array of products branded under Nordic Track, ProForm, and Free Motion, like treadmills or dumbbells or rowing machines and the like. Now tell me, what are your thoughts on the state of the fitness industry currently, and what do you think we'll see more of in 2025? For the longest time, fitness just grew roughly 10% a year, and then of course we hit COVID, we're all stuck at home, and the market went through the roof. So that was amazing for all the companies during that period, but then there was a hangover post that, a lot of inventory in the marketplace. Um, and what I'd say right now is 2024, we work through all of that. That's done, and I'm really excited. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that health and wellness will be a bigger market in 2025 and beyond, which is, which is really why I entered this business. And what's your approach to innovation, and how does your company differ from competitors? We film in 50 countries. Uh, we have over 10,000 workouts. I literally just did the Cliffs of Moore workout um, with a gold medalist Olympian. The machine is actually integrated with what she's saying. The incline, the decline, the speed, as you do intervals is actually happening with you. So it's, it's really unique. And, it, and why does it matter? I mean, it keeps you engaged. Now, you've launched AI Coach. Tell me more about the launch and how you're leading the fitness industry with AI to enhance your user experience. Personalization is like the key word in fitness because we all have different goals. And some people want to run a marathon. I don't want to run a marathon. <laughs> some people want to run a 5K. Um, some people just want to lift up their grandchildren. But we all have very different aspirations. So you need to get served a very personal regimen of what you should do. AI as a technology enables that in, in an unbelievable way. You need to find a way to it to be seamless. AI which does that. It encourages you, it serves you the right workout, and then it rewards you after you do the workout. What do you think has been the key to the company's success? You have to continue to stay ahead and invent something new. When I came here, I realized that a lot of fitness equipment looks the same. You know, it's very functional, but it's not that beautiful. And that's why a lot of it gets relegated to a third bedroom or to the garage or wherever it might be. There's no reason that it needs to be that way. You can make a very functional piece of equipment that also looks like furniture. And so we spent a lot of time over the last couple of years designing a beautiful product that you'll want to showcase in your home, but is also very, very functional. Um, so we're celebrating the 50th year with that launch. All right, and finally, tell me, Kevin, what's next for iFit? Using AI, we are able to translate thousands of workouts and you can't even tell it's not the native language. It's so perfect, the translation. So we're excited now to extend into other markets um, with the iFit platform. All right, well, exciting times ahead for iFit. It's been wonderful to talk with you, Kevin. Thanks yeah, thank for joining me. Thanks for having me.